This program is a very controversial program on KPFT, and it receives a lot of comment and cross-comment from diverse sources. Well, Your Worship, looks like you managed to keep me around for a little while longer. I had nothing to do with it. General Rykin thinks it's dangerous for any ships to leave the system until we've activated the energy field. That's a good story. I think you just can't bear to let a gorgeous guy like me out of your sight. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. <laughs> Remember, Wilbur, I got this call from you. I respectfully disagree with that. Sit on my face and tell me that you love me. I'll sit on your face and tell you I love you. I love to hear you moralize When I'm between your thighs You blow me away I think that the commonality of the problems and the concerns of people all over the world should make us brothers and sisters and not adversaries. And if you believe that, you'll buy this watch. <laughs> Well, we're dead serious. This is all too real, George. Oh, Bob and the fighting Jesus, we're talking to you now, and, and we can feel you coming through in the spirit, and we know there's a lot of lot of special uh, laid-up uh, um, members and, and people with genetic uh, things that are all different, and, and they're, they're needing to feel the power of you, and they got, some of them got tumors, some of them got cancers, and some of them got, got, got things in their brain that won't go out, and some of them see little bitty men everywhere that, that they don't think are real, but we know they're real and we want you to, to make them feel right with all of this. And Here on KPFT we advocate peaceful solutions to world problems. We're rednecks, we're rednecks, we don't know our ass from a hole in the ground. This program tries to duplicate that. I cut my ear off to spy my face. And did you grow wiser from the experience? Uh, we do not require proof of subgeniusness at all. We often find that we're able to, uh, once they join up, we're able to get them off to one of our subgenius retreats, change their diet, start feeding them propaganda, repeating the same thing over and over again until they forget who they are and start uh, responding only to our dogma. Marvelous. The smell of success is never too sweet. <laughs> we can help you out. Yeah, I think we're being sold a bill, big bill of good. It was great when it all began. Listen to you chase dogs down the street with gay abandon. Get off the air! I just can't face it. He did things that were just humiliating, and they kicked him out of the Intellectuals Club for it. Metal fatigue, what can you say? Meanwhile, the situation at the command center grows more perilous. Why are you still here? I'm the command center, Jim. You got your clearance to leave. Don't worry, I'll leave. First, we're gonna get you to your ship. Imperial troops have entered the base. Imperial troops have entered... Come on, that's it. We change personalities entirely. Then you're a grouch like me. Some people enter the power of power. The absolute corrupting power that makes great men insane. While some people find their refreshment in action. The manipulation, encroachment, and destruction of their inferior. You're the flaky specks of dandruff in my hair. You're the tickle in my throat that makes me cough You're the hangnail in my life And I can't bite you off I respectfully disagree with that oh, this is ridiculous Why don't you throw him over your shoulder and burp him? No, I don't even know what I'm doing here! We're wasting our time! I cannot teach him The boy has no patience You will learn patience Is there anything you've got to say before I drill you? Yes, I'd like to ask you one question. Go ahead. Do you think that girls think less of a boy if he lets himself be kissed? I mean, uh, don't you think that although girls go out with boys like me, they, they always marry the other kind? Well, all right, if you're going to kill me, hurry up. I have to take my tonic at two.
Jan, what's happened to you is that you're feeling very insecure lately because I haven't had the time to tell you what to do, okay? So now I will tell you what to do. We are going to go across the hall to your apartment. And we, I am going to read my chapters while you take a shower. Then we're going to go to bed and make love. And in the morning, you'll make me my breakfast and things will be just like the way they used to be. Now, what do you think of that? I think I'll call a cop. <laughs> oh, marvelous. That's great. Wonderful. Marvelous. She thinks she'll call a cop. That's just what I deserve. Trying to change a wasp mannequin into a thinking, feeling human being. Yeah, it's a real weird scene, you know, you're just out there working on your truck, and then suddenly there's fire everywhere, all around you, you can't see anything, you have to drive out of it. Sorry to interrupt your recreation, fellas, but it is time for Sergeant Pinback to feed the alien. Oh, I don't want to do that. May I remind you, Sergeant Pinback, that it was your idea in the first place to bring the alien on board. If I may quote you, you said the ship needed a mascot. Oh, I have to do everything around here. That he would go and kill mass numbers of people anywhere in the world. We should move ourselves into the room as an office. You know, and like just like Mr. Natural's office. I think right? we should steal this sign. I think we should just flat out steal it and not tell anybody about it. But, Dr. Drummond, we're, we're priests. We're reverends of the cult, I mean. And that, my son, is precisely why we should. You mean Bob wants us to take what's ours? <laughs> he is not ready. Yoda. I am ready. I... Ready, are you? What know you of ready? For 800 years have I trained Jedi. This one... A long time have I watched. All his life has he looked away to the future, to the horizon. Never his mind on where he was. Hmm? What he was doing. Hmm. You are reckless. You know, I'm getting uh, strong trance indications from this man that he was the, the high liar of Baghdad at one time. Adam, I'm not interested in you. I'm just... In your past life? Tell me what I think about this sick, sick, sick program that you're putting on here. What? Uh, That's... Well... What... Please stay tuned to KPFT. We're a station that is dedicated to people and people's media needs. But there's one in the spotlight. He don't look right to me. Get him up against the wall. And that one looks Jewish. And that one's a cool. Whoever is we friend into the room. Are you dangerous? You don't you don't conform to proper thought patterns. You need to be scanned. Well, neither do you, and you need to be scanned too. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's well. no accident that God has you on at this late hour, where decent people can't hear you except for those like me that are forced to stay awake to feed their families. <laughs> Control. Just to show a real emotion. Next 
excellent, excellent. I read you loud and clear. Now then, you are to take this planet in the name of the Earth. He's gonna bump you up, yeah. He's got a gun, you know. Well, all right, if you're gonna kill me, hurry up. I have to take my tonica, too. We hope you enjoy that. I'm gonna tell you the way it is And I'm not gonna be kind or easy Your whole attitude stinks, I say And the life you lead is completely empty Say, this picture doesn't look like you. Well, it doesn't look like you either. But this man has no mustache. Well, the barbershop wasn't open this morning. Well, look at that face. Oh, look at that face. Oh, All right, let's see. Are you going to identify yourself or else? If a nightingale would sing like you, they'd sing much sweeter than they do. You call a new kind of love. You really can't win either way. I don't know what I'm doing here. I can't do anything for that man. He's fainted. <laughs> what he needs is an ocean voyage. In the meantime, get him off the boat and uh, have his baggage examined. Anyway, will you all get close so we won't recover? Because you need to feel that too. You can promise me a wheelbarrow full of Krugerrands and I may never see the light of day on a deal like that. And when they think they've got it, they launch a new career. Who gives a fuck if what they play is somewhat insincere? Concentrate. Feel the force. Through the Force, things you will see, other places, the future, the past, old friends long gone. Han? Leia! Luke breaks concentration and the objects fall to the ground. Control, control, you must run control! I saw a city in the clouds. Friends you have there. They were in pain. I've got to go to them. Decide you must how to serve them best. And if you leave now, help them you could, but you will destroy all for which they have fought and suffered. Welcome to the listenership of radio station KPFT. Yes, very curious, very interesting. I do so enjoy observing the flora and fauna of that tiny planet. I think man is the most interesting insect on Earth, don't you? There is a growing tendency to think of man as a rational thinking being, which is absurd. There is simply no evidence of any intelligence on the Earth. Well, anyway, then this damn thing. You know, it seems to me these critic fellas are just a little rough sometimes. When I was a father before I became president, I'm going to be a father when I leave this office, so that's the way it's going to be, Mr. Hume, you son of a bitch. Hit a lick against what's wrong, or to say a word for what's right, even though you get walloped for saying that word. Now, I may sound like a Bible beater yelling up a revival at a river crossing camp meeting, but that don't change the truth none. There's right and there's wrong. You gotta do one or the other. You do the one and you're living. You do the other and you may be walking around, but you're dead as a beaver hat. And if I refuse, then what? You are hardly in a position to enforce your wishes. <laughs> Hey, you, you're not a pervert. 
Uh, I don't I, think so. I know, man, because uh, you never come to any of the meetings, man. <laughs> Do you have a car to prove that you're a pervert? Are you a card-carrying pervert? Brace yourself for immediate disintegration. I think that the commonality of the problems and the concerns of people all over the world should make us brothers and sisters and not adversaries. He's just kind of hanging on up to me. Luke sees an opening and delivers a painful blow. <laughs> But Vader responds with a devastating slash. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Luke, you do not yet realize your importance. Join me, and I will complete your training. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! Here on KPFT, we advocate peaceful solutions to world problems. If you're so goddamn smart, why can't you make me happy? I didn't mean me. You have the rare privilege that happens on certain occasions to chief executives of states or nations. You have the privilege of restoring a human being's life by a tender act of mercy. What do you mean? Hawkeye, is he dead? No, no. He's not dead. Not yet. Painless has a grave psychological problem, and you are the only person who can help him. Oh, no, Hawkeye. Oh, no. Come on. No, Maria, no. You've got to look on this as a nurse. It's a painless needs it for therapeutic value. It, it will help him, and it certainly wouldn't do you any harm either to think about it for a bit. If you think that your virtue is more important than Painless's life, that's fine. That's entirely up to you. I just want you to stay here and be with him for a minute. Just look at him. Just stay close to the whole man. ourselves as the the, uh, the ultimate minority, the mm -hmm. subgeniuses, the uh, final organization, mm -hmm. the final, the, the most understood minority. Above all, it's funny and 
Well, sure, it has its drawbacks, but, well, nobody's perfect. And so we bid fond farewell to the future, that romantic and cosmopolitan end of the rainbow. Like the wonderful pages of the story was filled with the glorious living pictures of tomorrow. It's all we have to look forward to, and it probably has a place for you. Children, it's time for recess. Please roll up your sleeves. Hold a minute, folks. Listen to Charlie Muggs. I've been living at that stuff. That's no good. That's bozo talk. If you want to know what the future really like, put your money in Mr. D. Smith's pocket. Because he's got what it takes. And we're going to bring you the future just like it is. Because in the next show, I'm the hero. The future show is going to bring you Charlie Mark, and I know what it's all about, but brother, I've been around. My friend, it is not God and country, it's God! <laughs> Okay, well, let's say you're going up from Vera Freddy's to Montrose, and you take a right on onto Montrose from West Gray, and you go one block, one block past Westheimer, and there we are. Do 
to my right? Yeah, you know, you you take a left. Left? Yeah. Okay. There See you with Wiser. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. KPFT. Ooh. We know where we are. KPFT. Hi, did I get you to uh, David Barry's, uh, Tony's, Mr. Dory Albert's, uh, AU 32? We had one request. We'll play some David Boy, I guess. Here's the second request. Okay, see, the thing is, you have this album. We have this album? Yes, you actually have this album, and I will commit suicide if you don't play it. Oh, boy. Well, we'll call the squad right away. I love gratuitous violence. KPFT. The Grateful Dead were great. KPFT. Hi, Bill. KPFT. Yeah, could you play some sex pistols for me? KPFT. Can you play Susie's detail?